Audio equipment does not live in a vacuum. And unless you're going to a concert outdoors, your home audio system is in your home, which means it's in a room. And that room can have better or worse acoustics. And if the room has really bad acoustics, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on the speakers or on the cables or on the, the cartridge for your turntable, the reality is the room is gonna kind of like wipe out the sound. Typically the problems are things like slap echoes, too much energy because the room is filled with hard surfaces that reverberate, and your typical speaker, a direct radiator speaker, is putting out energy in all directions, which means that as soon as you get just a little bit of a distance away from the speaker, the energy that's bouncing around in the room is gonna overwhelm the direct sound from the speaker. That's why you see in, in audio file, pictures of audio files, home systems, typically uh, the speaker's towed in with uh, the chair for listening for one person who's usually a guy, uh, that they're really close because the, the uh, person wants to get the room out of the equation, so to speak. For OMA, it's a different story. And also, we don't just expect our clients to figure it out for themselves. Because what we're really doing is, is making a sound, you know, the most natural, lifelike sound possible. And that means we have to deal with the room. And not all of our clients have great rooms. Most of them do without any kind of treatment whatsoever. But what do you do when, when you need to treat a room? So I've done a, a, a video on a 1D diffuser, which is actually less of a mitigating or ameliorating uh, uh, product than one to optimize. Um, what I want to show you now are things that we made for the Munich high-end audio show, which was uh, in May. So the Munich show is notorious, like many audio shows, which are typically in hotel rooms. At Munich, it, the show takes place in the convention center, which is this glass, you know, it's like a, a, a glass, you know, birdcage. Terrible, terrible sonics in the rooms. And this was the first time that we did the Munich show ever. So I wanted to make sure that, that we would have as good a sounding environment for the speakers and turntable and the other components that we were bringing as possible. That turned into a really big deal. I'm going to show you two things that we made for the Munich show, which we can, we can actually make for you. This is a sound absorption panel, and we made this freestanding. You can move this around. It could even be on wheels. This is solid torrified. Pennsylvania maple. And um, this is a, a all cotton fabric. And inside of here is absorptive material, very effective at absorbing frequencies down to, I think, about upper base. On this side is pegboard material. So you can flip this around and use this uh, as a, a diffuser. It's a good high frequency diffuser. And in this way, you can actually get, using both sides of this device, you can, you can, and angling the device, you can tune the acoustics of the room. So we had this on the side walls at Munich, and it worked really well in, in taking the overall reverberant level of sound down. This was much more ambitious. This is what is called in, in acoustics, a Gaussian diffuser for these sinusoidal shapes. And you know, you can stick your hand all the way through so the sound can go like this and through the back. This was the rear wall at Munich. You can see how big this is. These diffusers operate down really quite low. And um, between these two things, we had a room that actually sounded pretty good. The room sounded really, really bad when we started um, off the show. I think there's some videos that you might be able to still find posted that, that have me walking around the room and clapping. Clapping is actually a great way to get an idea of how good your room is because that, that fast transient, that spike of sound, will uh, tell you, for example, if you have slap echoes or you can hear the reverberation, you can get an idea of how long it is. And then as you add treatments or put more furniture or rug into a room 
and you do this without any kind of um, measuring device, you can actually get a, a pretty good idea of where you're headed until you reach a point where you say enough. You don't need an acoustician, and most acoustic treatments that I see on the market are woefully undersized, like putting a little panel like this big by this big on a wall may make you feel better about doing something about the acoustics in your room, but probably it's not going to really change the sound much. If you do want to um, improve the sound in your room and you're looking for acoustic treatments, and especially, obviously, it doesn't have to be this big, but especially if you're looking for something of a larger dimension, uh, you should definitely give us a call. These will be offered in sections minimum three, and these would be fantastic. For example, sidewalls, point of first reflection. We also do make numeric or quadratic diffusers. Uh, I guess the point here really is that uh, whatever you know, your system is, whatever your room is, if you want to have acoustic treatment done, an acoustic analysis, OMA also provides these kinds of services so that you're not left hanging and wondering if you actually have you know, gotten the most out of your, your audio system.